practice like today? Good. Um, you know, I think uh, we have the right mentality, you know, coming off a tough loss like that. Um, you know, kind of forgetting about it and coming in and working. Um, you know, I think we got a good head start, good Tuesday. Sure. Talk a little about your performance on Saturday. How do you think you played? Um, pretty good. I think there's there's things that I could improve on, a couple little details um, here or there to make a difference. But um, for the most part, I thought as a unit we played uh, pretty solid. And talk about throughout the season, how do you think you have progressed in your role on this team? Um, you know, personally, I try to do, you know, something new each week to help myself out. Um, you know, and then hopefully by the end of the thing, it adds up. But um, I think I think it's big that uh, you know you focus on one thing every week and then um, and then keep going. Um, I think I think I came a little ways. Wonderful, wonderful. And obviously, then we had the adjustment with Alex Hornibrook. So, can you talk a little about your relationship with him on the field? Yeah, it's good. Um, you know, anytime there's a new quarterback, there's a little adjustment period. But um, you know, Alex, he, he you know he's, he works very hard. He takes it very serious. So. When we get out there in the practice field, um, you know, we get that kind of chemistry going, and um, I think we're feeling pretty confident with each other. And is it a similar chemistry with you and the other receivers? Yeah, yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I think, um, you know, they trust him and he trusts them, and, um, you know, he'll, you know, any situation, he, uh, you know, he expects them to make a play and he'll put it there, so. Sure. Um, if you can think of one word, what best describes this Wisconsin offense? Um, I think resilient. I think, I think that would be um, the strongest word. Um, you know, we you know there's, we face a lot of adversity so far. There's some performances that we'd like to have back, but uh, you know we keep pushing, keep fighting, and um, and I think we do a good job of that. Sure. And obviously, a lot of people have been talking about being uh, your team being ranked number ten despite two losses. First of all, does that really affect you, the rankings? And second, what what does the rankings mean for your team as a whole to be ranked so high in the country? Um, I don't think none of us really think about it too much. Um, you know, we know. You know, Iowa's going to be a tough opponent, and we got to come out there and beat them. And, uh, you know, all our goals are still right in front of us. We just got to take it one game at a time and, uh, you know, see where we end up at the end of this thing. Sure, and looking ahead to Iowa, obviously, road game, you're going to be traveling. Other than the obvious factor of that, is there any different preparation you have going into a road game or a different mentality? Uh, no, I think um, it's kind of cool when you go into the road game and it's just, you know, how many, however many guys, I think it's 60 or 65 of us, um, you know, it's a pretty cool feeling knowing that it's just kind of you against the world in there. And, um, you know, you kind of lean on your brother and that's really all you got. Sure. What are some of the biggest strengths that you see of the Iowa defense? Um, you know, they're, they're physical, they're tough, and, uh, you know, they're always going to do their assignment. They're, uh, you know, they're very detailed. Um, you know, typical Iowa defense, um, you know, they, they're going to play physical, they're going to play, um, you know, to the whistle. Sure, and then obviously a lot of people have been talking about the Iowa Stadium, the next stadium. What do you know about it, and are you excited to go into their crowd and deal with yeah, the Yeah, yeah, I played there uh, two years ago. Um, Kinnick's a really cool place to play. Um, you know, they have, they have great fans, they take it very serious. Um, they're going to be loud, they're going to be right on top of you. Um, you know, they're going to be saying things that you don't want to hear, stuff like that, so it'll be fun. Sure, and then final question, obviously there's a trophy on, on, on the line during this game. Is the team a little more amped up for that, for the Heartland Trophy? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we have an empty trophy case um, in our locker room from because we lost last year, so I think that's kind of got a little extra chip on our shoulder moving forward, and uh, you know, we're going to try to get it back. All right, well, thank you so much. Yep, thank you. Thank you.